Good evening, everybody. Budget proposals in Albany to eliminate some Medicaid and Medicare reimbursement funding could have a big impact on ambulance services. Those cuts could force ambulance agencies to slow operations, and some could stop transporting patients altogether. Christian Garzon spoke with Monroe Ambulance today. Emergency services are anything but cheap. According to the United New York Ambulance Network, every time an ambulance responds to a call from a Medicaid patient, they lose money. And Albany is looking to slice some of the reimbursement funding for ambulance companies. The executive budget that Governor Cuomo put together cuts significant monies out of that. According to a recent study, ambulance services in New York State are already underpaid by $31 million annually, and that's without Governor Cuomo's proposed cuts to statewide ambulance services. And the proposed annual loss for Monroe Ambulance? For our organization, it's going to be about $260,000. That has a direct impact on everything from readiness and training to vehicle costs and fuel and could force some companies to close their doors. That is a, uh, a substantial amount when you're trying to take care of, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the folks that live here in, in and around Rochester. You know. According to the deputy chief, the loss for ambulance services across the region will be significant. Drastically, to the tune of a little over $34 million um, across the uh, across the upstate. In a statement from the New York State Division of the Budget, it says in situations where Medicare pays an appropriate amount, Medicaid need not pay more than it ordinarily would, and that this proposed cut is not anticipated to have any adverse impacts on availability of transport services. Christian Garzone, News 8. If funding for these ambulance services is indeed cut, it could fall on local municipalities to provide them for communities, another burden that could fall on taxpayers.